today's video, I am going to replicate a Gretzky stick. It's a uh, Easton aluminum, and I'm going to be using this Pro Stock wood blade. It's an Easton Pro Stock. So what's the curve? It's not Gretzky's curve, obviously. It's got a lot of upshoots. So what I'm going to do is remove the tape off of this, straighten it out. And I got the Gretzky shaft right here. This is, would be something that he would have used back in the day. And obviously I don't have Jack the Gripper handle, but we're gonna just put tape. I'm gonna try this out, see how it is. Never tried one of these, so I'm gonna put this together and go from there. First order of business is to remove all the tape. Now this tape is really old and it's been stuck on pretty good. I'm just gonna remove all of it off. And that's the first thing I'm gonna do. Don't know whose pattern this is, but it definitely doesn't look like a Gretzky. The shape of the blade is the same. That's why I chose this blade, but the curve's not the same. And I've seen a Gretzky curve, so I'm gonna to try to bend it, straighten, I mean, straighten it out. Probably not gonna bend it, but straighten it out. I am gonna put the friction tape on and I'm gonna put the baby powder. I'm gonna do exactly what Wayne would have done back in the day, breaking the goal scoring records. So here I got the heat gun and I got the blade. So this is how the curve looks right now. It's got a lot of upshoot and I know Wayne used a pretty straight blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up. So what you're gonna do is just keep the heat moving. Let the the gun keep going, keep moving it, keep moving it. Don't let the heat stay in one spot so it doesn't bubble. So you're gonna do both sides, keep it moving. So once it's pretty hot or you can't touch it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna step on it. So the next thing you're gonna do is step on it. So what I'm doing here is I'm straightening it out. So as you can see, there's not much gap underneath the blade, and that's what Wayne used. He used a pretty straight blade. So I'm gonna be on it for about a minute. And then what you're gonna do after that is put it under cold water. Here's the, here's the blade I curved. It kind of looks exactly, or close to exact, as what Wayne would have used. I'm gonna put this together. Gotta heat the top like so. So put a little bit in and then start heating. The shaft, uh, I do want to try this and I am a righty shot but I'm going to be using a lefty for this. Okay. Alright. Alright, here we go. Look at this. So I did straighten it out as much as I could. And that would be similar to what Wayne used. I've seen his blades, but the shape is the same, so which is nice. The next thing I gotta do is I gotta get the friction tape. As much as I didn't want to use it, but I was like, I gotta try what Wayne used, the greatest hockey player ever. What did he use? I gotta try this and see. So I am a righty shot, but I want to replicate exactly what he used. I had a friend of mine who played in the NHL and he got one of Wayne's sticks, one of these. And I actually saw it up close, what he did to it. And he had it marked numbers on the top. And I think that's the game that he'd use or don't know exactly what the numbers were, but that he had numbers on top of the sticks. Here I have taped the blade. I have done similar as I could to what Wayne would have taped it. This is friction tape. This is the sticky tape on both sides. And the next thing I'm gonna do is put baby powder. So I have baby powder in the sock. And I'm gonna try to, that's how I used to do it. Just put the baby powder on. Just like that. I'll do the other side, the backhand side. Wayne was known for his backhand. He scored, I think, half of the goals in his career on backhand. Here's what I taped. 
on the blade. And here's what Wayne's looks like. It's pretty close. That was when he scored 802 goals. Here I am with a Gretzky stick on the ice. I'm a right-handed shot, but I'm gonna be doing lefty just like he did. And I'll try my best. Uh, first of all, stick's very heavy. It's uh, definitely more uh, weight than that bread hole stick that I made a video on. That feels pretty good. And, uh, I used to pass really well with it. And uh, one thing is with a two-way tape, you can definitely feel that the, it grabs the puck a lot better. It has a, a better grip for the puck. So Wayne's uh, thing was that um, he was great on backhands. And I remember one time he made a pass in the warm-ups when he played with the Kings across the blue, across the blue line on the blue, like the puck did not leave the blue right to his teammate, and he just went straight, just nice and straight, and there's just not too many players that can do that, it's amazing. I did not get a chance to get Jack the Gripper, they're just hard to find, and they're kind of pricey, so I didn't get that, I didn't tape it, so I'm going without the tape on the handle. The blade looks similar to what he used, well, definitely the straight blade gives it a nice Backhand. I've never shot lefty before, but as you can see, it's just got a nice feel to it. On the backhand, it's just a pretty straight blade. But definitely, you can feel the puck pretty good. It is very stiff, there's no give, and it's very heavy. So, it does feel like a solid wood stick, believe it or not. So, with the friction tape and just that heavy wood blade, and the shaft is heavy. It feels like a wood stick. The feel of it. I can tell where that puck is on my blade without looking at it. And, uh, so I'm usually shooting this way. This feels different. And it's a lie four, just like what he used. And I knew he used about one stick per period when he played. I'm not sure because it's the baby powder wore off or that was a superstition. But he just, every period, he'd switch a stick. He used about 700 sticks a season, is what they said, on average. With these aluminum. So there's a lot of them out there. But they're just you know, harder to find. There's just a lot of collectors pick them up. You know, they range around a game used stick. Goes for about two grand, 2,500 easily. Uh, the Titans, the uh, white and red, or the red one, the solid red with the white lettering, those go for the most probably, because that was like his rookie year, he used those. But the white ones definitely go a lot more, I mean like five grand for a white, you know, four or five thousand dollars for a white uh, Titan game used. And he did put uh, some numbers on the top of the handle. That's how you'd know if that was his or not. Yeah, it feels pretty good. It just it's a little bit heavy. With the wood stick for sure. Thank you for watching my video.